What's going on guys, Team Art here, and welcome to the start of a new Let's Play over here on Team Art and 2, guys. Today, we're going to be playing some Quantum Break. Yes, that's right. So I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time. Now, it actually just came out today. It's a brand new game, Xbox One exclusive, and it looks pretty insane. Like, looking at, like, all the previews and the trailers and stuff, it looked really, really good. Uh, it follows the main character, Jack Joyce. It's kind of like a third-person action adventure game and he has like time manipulation powers and all kinds of crazy stuff it looks like it's going to be really really good really action-packed and and have an awesome story which is the perfect combination for a fantastic let's play so hope you guys are just as excited about this as i am if you guys are make sure to smack that thumbs up button and uh let's go ahead and get into it here we go guys all right adjust the brightness you guys know we typically go a little bit brighter this icon appears the game is saving content. We've got it. Uh, the Quantum Break show is your window into what's going on within Monarch Solutions. Every choice you make has effects in the future. This icon means you're reviewing a direct consequence of an action. Wow, that looks... So this is going to be crazy. I mean, we've played games like this before and really, really liked them. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, tutorials we want on. Sensitivity, assist, yes. Um, vibration strength. I usually don't really do vibra- Ah! I guess so called the don't like vibrations for this. I guess we can do some controls to check out anything here. Um, aim is left, movements, yeah. Interact, reload. All looks good. Y is for vision, B is for shield, okay. Sound effects, volume. I want to make sure that, um, Subtitles are on. I'm gonna turn those to on. Make sure it saved. It did. Let's go ahead and start up a new game. Here we go. Easy, new to shooters, normal, moderate challenge, hard, the right setting for those who love a challenge. We're just gonna go straight with normal. I like a challenge, a little bit of a challenge, but I don't like, uh, you know, struggling. I, I mainly play games for the story and stuff, at least in terms of Let's Plays. So we'll see. Riverport University Experiment, Act 1, Part 1. Here we go. Let's get it. So we're, we're part of an experiment. Maybe that's what allows us to bend and manipulate time. I don't know. We'll see here. Act one, the number one killer is time. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? So this is our main character. Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! <laughs> Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Just not gonna pay? Hey. Thanks for the ride. Oh, there it is. No problem. Who does this guy look like? He looks like somebody from like a TV show. You'd been I'm away for sure. six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. We talk with this guy? He's got Jägermeister and a beer out here. Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just, 
whatever's done even matter anymore. I'm. I'm oh yeah. man, yeah, he's done. All right, let's check, check everything out. This is. I guess this looks good. Find Paul. Join the protest. Protest flyer. Oh, hey, you, Jack. take action now. Just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Press select to explore collectibles. Man, there's a lot going on right now. So up does our current objective. Oh wow, look at this guy just hanging out. He's about to get some. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. <laughs> Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? What's this? Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. Come on, Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. <laughs> um, I I'm think, I'm, think I'm good. Should we talk to her, though? All right, what's going on here? Okay. Might as well. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Sure. Where's your chart? Oh, over here. Go ahead, check out the chart. Okay. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> exactly. That booty call, though. All right. So they're protesting. Paul and I been hungry for success. Monarch. Driven. Tearing down this library. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. I'm loving this game so far. I like how much emphasis there is on the you um, made a long trip just to see a research the story. Project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. All right, here we go. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> project Promenade. Oh, look. 
a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. This is insanity, dude. So we're talking right, time and this. black holes and so this is about all kinds of, of craziness. Business. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Wow. This is really kind of intense, dude. Like, I'm nervous. Welcome to Project Promenade. Shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. So Will kind of bugged out and Jack, freaked out investors and stuff like that. You no, know, asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. That's our emails that we sent to each other. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Right over here. Chronon conduit. Ready when you are, sir. 
Push L forward. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? This is stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. What the fudge? I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I how could you that. not? This is ridiculous. He this is crazy. Cool. But I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. This is insanity, bro. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. How could you, like, just randomly show up and somebody tells you, like, hey, let's uh, go ahead and alter the space-time continuum. We turn the keys at the same time to activate Yellow. security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke. Right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. Got it! God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing, in the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. 